Hey guys, Nick from KN Tech, welcome back. Well, today as you can see, I've finally managed to get a haircut. Uh, we're currently in lockdown here in the UK, so I've not been able to travel out and get my haircut by my usual barber. So I got myself a pair of clippers online and I went at it. And as you can see, it's a little short. Hey, it'll grow out, it's not a problem. So I've got a small cheap studio mic, which I have on a very cheap uh, microphone stand, which I got off of Amazon. Uh, and unfortunately, this is not quite long enough to reach my mouth when I'm using my screen. Uh, so when I'm recording something on my desktop using OBS, uh, it doesn't quite come up, so I have to move my chair over so that the mic's near my mouth. In this video, I'm going to be modding it, so I'm going to be taking it apart. I'm going to be cutting some longer lengths of the arms that uh, articulate from the desk mount, and hopefully it's going to make it a little bit longer, which means I don't have to keep moving either my chair or the desk mount. Stick around, guys. Let's see how it turns out. So this is the microphone that I use when I'm recording things on my screen using OBS. Currently I have the desk mount on the end of my desks over on the left hand side and I try and bring it over to as close to my mouth as I possibly can. Now unfortunately the distance from the clamp to the microphone is 33 inches or 85 centimeters uh, and the individual sizes of the uh, arms are around 13 inches or 33 centimeters. Now I'm going to hopefully make these a little bit longer so what I've done is I've gone out and I've bought some aluminium uh, 10 mil by 10 mil, and this is a meter long. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be cutting this in half. So I'm gonna be replacing the 33 centimeter arms with 50 centimeter arms. So that should give me a length of a little bit, a little bit over a meter from the clamp to the microphone. And hopefully that's gonna mean I'm not gonna have to shift myself over and move my whole desk and my camera and everything over to the left hand side so that I can get the microphone up to my mouth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip this down and I'm gonna to get to the point where I can actually take out the individual arms. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark them up and I'm gonna cut this aluminum bar. Uh, and then I'm gonna drill some holes so that I can get it mounted back onto the original mounts and the clamps uh, with the springs. And hopefully uh, with a little bit of jiggling and a little bit of tightening up of the thumb screws, I'm gonna get it to be able to hold the microphone up, but just give me a little bit more distance reach. So I'm gonna start by taking off the microphone and the cable which I've got rooted down the arm. Then after that, I'm gonna take out these nuts these nuts and these nuts, and that's gonna allow me to get these arms out, which is then gonna allow me to measure the distance where the springs actually get hooked up and where I can drill the holes to mount them back in. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so you guys don't have to sit through it. worth remembering which, which springs come from where. So in my case, the smaller springs come from the base and the longer springs come from the second arm. So here we can see we have the two arm, the four arms. And we can see that these are around about 13 inches or 33 centimeters in length. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hopefully extend these so that they're gonna be around 50 centimeters in length. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a lot longer reach on the actual arm of the microphone. So we can see that two of the arms have these little channels cut out here with these little end caps on here. And these are what allow you to run cables through should you wanna run the cables actually through here. Now, like I said earlier, this is only 10 mil by 10 mil, so you're not gonna get a USB cable through there. So I, don't, I personally don't use these, but I'm gonna be seeing if I can get these channels either cut out, or if, I, if not, I can take these plastic sections out and use them to reinforce the, new, reinforce the new metal bars. We'll see on the other two, these are the two that have the spring connectors on it. And luckily the spring connectors for these are in the same place, so it doesn't matter which, if I swap these around from the top or the bottom. And again, these have got little end caps on them just to uh, help protect the end and also to provide a little bit of stability 
as you can see, that's going to stop the heat, that's going to stop this from crushing together once we actually get them put back on the arm. So again, I'm going to be trying to fit these into the new ones also. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take these arms, I'm going to take these down into my garage, and I'm going to get the new aluminium arms uh, cut to the same length, and I'm going to get these measured so I can drill these holes to get the, uh, get the spring mounts on it, and then hopefully I'll come back and we'll see if we can put it back together again. Okay, so here are the original four arms that came off of the uh, came off of the microphone arm, and here are the four longer ones which I've just gone and cut. And like I said, these are now fifty centimeters from end to end. Very important to note, though, if you're going to do this, you need to measure the distance between the hole at the end uh, and the hole midway down, which is where the which is where this goes, which is what takes the spring uh, on the outside. Uh, so I measured that and it's exactly 16 centimeters on the original. So I've again I've drilled the hole 16 centimeters on the new one. Now if you were going to do this permanently, you can actually take this away and you can spray paint this uh, to make it black. Uh, initially I'm not going to bother. Uh, one thing I did notice though, and I'll show you if I if I if I can, you can see the thickness of the metal on the on the replacement is actually considerably thicker than the original. Uh, I think this is actually steel as opposed to uh, aluminium. This is aluminium, so it's going to be lighter, and also being thicker, it's going to be a little bit stronger. So I may or may not actually uh, put these plugs back in. Uh, I don't think they're actually going to fit. You can see it fits in quite nicely in that one. But if I try and put it in this one, it's actually just a little bit too big. So rather than shave that down so it fits, I'm going to see how it works without. If need be, I can always shave these down. I'll get a little piece of wood, uh, wood cut down in size and put that in there and drill that through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and put this back together again uh, and we'll see if it actually works. Here we can see, this is the new extended version. Obviously I've yet to tighten up all of these nuts yet. These are all just finger tight. But what I'm gonna do is, we can see where the spring goes here and where the spring goes here. Don't forget it's the smaller one for the bottom and the larger one for the middle. So I'm gonna get all these tightened up and I'm gonna get it put back into the stand and we'll see if it makes a difference. Okay, so that's all put back together again. I've uh, tightened up most of these now, so that should work around about okay. It might need a little tightening up anyway, but hopefully now what we'll see 
is as I move that out, we should see that now actually comes all the way over to my desk, which is exactly where I want it to be, because that's where I'm going to be sitting when I'm actually using OBS. Obviously there might be some fine tuning in terms of tightening up some of these nuts here so that it's not actually too, too loose. That said, I think it's actually fairly flexible and it's actually doing a reasonable job of holding itself in place. A little bit of just tweaking that, I think just nipping these up a little bit more would certainly, uh, certainly wouldn't do it any harm. So there you have it guys. If you've got a microphone arm that's of the same sort of design as mine, i.e. the two parallel rods, which are held together uh, by some hinges and some springs tensioners to hold the microphone actually in place, you can actually modify and tweak the setup of it to make it a little bit longer, to make it more suitable for your setup. Some people actually even use these for small webcams. You can see I've actually got one on my other system over there, and it's actually got a little GoPro on it, which I use as a webcam. So again, even if, you wanted to do, even if you wanted to modify that a little bit so that it came in from a little bit further along the desk, you could certainly do that. Well, I hope you found the video useful, guys. I hope it gave you a little bit of an insight as to how you can go about modifying things. Don't have to accept the things that you actually buy. You can make them a little bit more customizable for your needs. Hope you liked the video. Like I said, if you do, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified when I put more videos up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.